Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Hey, in this video, we're going to be talking about the wireframe feature of the Cadence Blocks plugin. If you've ever wanted to speed up the process of going from concept to design for your websites, the best way to be able to do that is to create a wireframe of the website first. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to do just that using the Cadence Blocks plugin. Hey everyone, I'm Clifton with Clifton WP and I teach people how to build beautiful and effective websites and also how to build a successful web business using your new found skills. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button and also hitting the notification bell so that you are notified every time I release a video. Also, you can find all the links, the materials, resources, and programs that I use in the video in the description below. And lastly, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And also if you have questions or comments, feel free to write them in the comment section below. I'm really excited to show you how to be able to use this feature in the Cadence Blocks plugin. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So creating wireframes is actually very, very easy. All you need is an install of WordPress, right? So here's an install, or you can have an existing WordPress install, or you can do a fresh one. And then the plugin that we want is the Cadence Blocks plugin. I already have the plugin installed. So just go to, just go to add new and do a search for Cadence Blocks. And when you do that search, it'll bring up Cadence Blocks for you. Just go ahead and install it and activate it. And then for the theme, I am using the free theme from Cadence which you can find in the WordPress repository uh, and just install that. And you are pretty much ready to go uh, building out your first wireframe. So what we want to do, just like any other page, we go to new page and you go ahead and start building out your page. So we'll just call this, let's call this wireframe or actually let's call it prototype. So here's our prototype page and uh, we'll call this prototype one. You can call it wireframe as well if you want. Okay, so now that you've done that, go ahead and click on the design library. Now you'll only see this if you have Cadence Blocks installed. If it is not installed, you won't see this. And when you go ahead and click on that, now for some of you, when you do that, it will it may ask you to go ahead and subscribe or opt in for this. Just go ahead and put in an email and hit accept and you'll then have access to all the wireframes. And you can see all the wireframe blocks that are available for you here to quickly build out a page, right? So, and they're all broken down into different uh, categories from content to testimonials, countdowns to forms, footer gallery, everything you pretty much need to build out different sections of the page. So if you already have a page idea or a page layout idea, typically I sketch it out on a piece of paper and then I bring it out to web or I use a different uh, platform for creating, creating the uh, wireframes. But if you already have that, you can actually easily do it here directly inside of WordPress, thanks to Cadence. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and try this out. Let's build out a page, right? So typically in a page, what do you have? You have a hero section, you'll have benefit sections, you may have a pricing table, you may have an about section, a more detailed section. There's lots of different sections that you can have and they're all pretty much covered here. So what I want now is a hero section, right? So then there's lots of, I can see a lot of great options here. Here's one right here where you have the text on the, left with buttons and then a image on the right. That's actually very popular. Here's another one that's also very popular. Let's, let's use this one. Okay, so already it's in there with us and it, it'll adopt the color scheme of your, your site. So your, your buttons and all that stuff, you can change all this individually. So I can always select this and make changes to the, for instance, I can make changes to the button. If I want this to be an orange button or a red button, I can do that, right? But we'll leave that as is right for now. And so now we had our section in here and the idea behind wireframing is you want to do this very quickly just to get an idea up before you start fleshing out the website. So I have that. I know I want a benefit section. So here's a nice little three column section here. And then let's add a few more sections as well to sort of uh, make the page a little bit more robust. So maybe I want a more, some more information, right? So more information on the page. Here we go. That looks really good. And then uh, what else could we add in here? Let's add in some testimonials, right? So I'm gonna come here and let's just go ahead and search for testimonial sections. They have two of them. I like this one a lot. Let's go ahead and add that in there. Now you see how I brought this in here and see how large this text is. And this is just because of my theme, right? And what I have set up as, a, as the default for the theme. I can go ahead and change this just simply by selecting uh, this testimonial section here, coming over here to the right 
looking for my title settings, go to the fonts and in the font size, I'm going to change this to 24. Okay. So that's a little bit more manageable. And then I can just do the same thing for all the other ones. All right. And very quickly that looks really nice. Okay. So then the next thing that I want to add in is a pricing table. Okay. So maybe I have a program or a course I'm selling or anything like that. Just go ahead and add a pricing table. That way I can go ahead and add in my prices, add in images if necessary, or take out the images if necessary. I can make this look as good or as bad as I want. <laughs> so this looks very good. And then um, let's go ahead and also add a frequently asked questions section. That would be nice. So frequently asked questions. And you can make up your own frequently asked questions. I like them with accordions, but they have a couple of them here that we can use, right? So here's one here, and there's also one here. Um, I like this one a lot. Um, they both look really nice. So let's just pick one. There we go. And here's our frequently asked question sections, two columns with the frequently asked questions on the right and the title on the left. So that looks really good. And then last and not least, maybe I want a contact us section on the page as well. So people can be able to reach out to me. So that would be a form. And here is a good example of that here. Now that looks really good. All right, so our page actually looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and publish this and we're gonna take a look at it. So when you look at it on the front end, this actually looks really nice, right? It's really clean, very neat, and very well put together. Right? And that all I need to do at this point is just add in my own information and I have something that I can go ahead and send to my client. Or I could send it to my client just like this and say, hey, here's an idea of how we're going to organize your content and then they can give me feedback and I can go ahead and make the changes as necessary. So let's say they gave me some feedback and they said, you know what, uh, Clifton, we don't like, um, we don't like this boxed look. Can we see it uh, in a more full width look? Okay, great. I basically will come back here and to make that change, it's very, very simple. I just go to the page settings in cadence. One of the reasons I like using the cadence theme is because it's very, very easy to create a full width layout with it. All I need to do is come in here, make sure my page title is disabled, select the page layout to be full width, the content style will be unboxed, and my vertical product padding, I'm gonna disable that as well. Uh, click update. And now when we view the page, it's now full width, right? So this is already looking great. Look at the testimonial section too, is also full width. So this is, this is just this really nice. Um, it just makes it so much easier to get something up very rapidly and very quickly. Uh, if you're selling something or you're creating a sales page or a product page, this will help you be able to do that very, very quickly because you already have all the tools that you need in place to do it. So now why don't we make a few more changes? Let's just see how much, how much, how much change, how many changes we can make or how much more flexible we can make this. So maybe I don't like this, uh, Maybe I don't like this one block right here. Maybe I would like this to actually have some text uh, to the left and the image to the right. Okay, so I can go into my design library here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna set my, I'm going to go ahead and let's see, let's add this. That way we don't have to travel so much. Actually, you know what, it's fine. Let's go ahead and create a enter. Let's create a block right there. Go to design library and let's look for something that kind of matches what I was describing. So not that, okay, here we go. Something like this. All right, so now I've added that in there. I'm going to go ahead and shift this up to the top. There we go. All right, so now I have this instead of that and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this block. All right, I'm going to update this and view. So you can kind of see here, <laughs> just like that, the whole website actually looks completely different, nearly different, just with adding a different uh, featured area section. And you can just be as dynamic with this uh, as you want. So anyway, I'm gonna end it there, but you can kind of see the possibilities. I just wanted to showcase and highlight what's possible uh, just using wireframing and how quickly you can build out a, a page if you need to do something for rapid implementation or show your client a prototype. 
So if you really like this uh, kind of stuff, give it a try. Uh, go ahead and create your own wireframe and maybe leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of wireframes you create or let me know uh, if you have any questions regarding uh, wireframing and we can try to answer that for you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, would appreciate it if you liked the video, then also would appreciate any comments or questions on this video as well. And if you're new here or you, you've been coming and watching the videos but you have not subscribed, please subscribe so that you get notified for the next time that I release a video. We're gonna be releasing a lot more videos over the next few weeks and we'll definitely like you to get the notification that those are up and running. And with that, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.